girls. It is finally Friday, October 27th. Are y'all ready to have some fun today with today's special guest? Now for our sixth collaboration. Our girl Tina Marie is going to be joining me today and we are going to be getting into my favorite fall fragrances from Bath and Body Works. We're going to be talking about some of the deals that they have and also my birthday celebration is Tuesday. So I'm super excited about that as well. So without further ado, let's welcome my girl, Tina Marie. Hi, Hypnotic. Hello. Hey, Miss Girl. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good trying myself together. Thank you. Thank you. Time. Everybody has been anticipating this collaboration. The girls are back. Your favorite scent girls are back. We are catching up with our girl Tina Marie. And you guys know the Halloween is coming, right? We got four more days to my 30th. And spooky season is finally here. So make sure y'all go check out Elm Street, Tina's new hit single, which is out right now. And Man Eater also go and check it out as well, too. Perfect bangers for the Halloween season. So before we get into this, T, how have you been, girl? Huh? That's it. And how have you been? Because we did our last collaboration back in 2022, what? I think. Wasn't it in the summertime? Yeah. It was yeah, <laughs> we're doing pretty good. Oh God, Tatiana, don't feel my life cutting up. Hold on, I got to tell her to put off the cuff. Don't be act, acting up on the live now. <laughs> we are y'all coming in. Y'all have been waiting for this anticipation, so I'm gonna kick it off. My girl, while my girl Tina's over here trying to get it together, she's getting it right. All right, get it together. So I'm trying to get it together. The fall season is officially here, hence why I went for a bold lip color. Now, I would typically go for a glossy lip, but, but today I said it's too big because I see Mary J. Flash wear this color and I said I got to try it just one time. It's like a blue. So, we're going to get into these fall, fall scent fragrance, fall fragrance scents that I love so much for the fall season. Year. And then before you know it, winter will be here as well, too. All right. So the first one that I like and I think is a staple is Into the Night. Into the Night is one of my favorites. And I love it because of that rose petal and amber crystal. In it. And it smells so amazing. I, lay, I typically layer this one in Fairy Tale with Libre by St. Laurent. Now, it's another company out here called Montel, Arabian Tonka. Their fragrance lasts for hours. I say you'd get aware for up to eight hours. And I wore it when I went to one of my um, running some errands and someone smelt it on me. It's called Arabian Tonka Montel. M-A-M-O-N-A-T-A-L-E. Montel Paris. Um, Arabian Tonka. And their fragrance is beautiful. It smells so good. I layered it with Into the Night. And I also layered it with fairy tale. When I tell you, you'll thank me later because when I wore it out, everybody instantly, what do you have on? So into the night, you can layer it with so many things. This is one of my favorite fall fragrance staples. Um, another one of my favorite fall fragrance staples, I have the older packaging now, is You're the One. You're the One, they put it in the faceted package. This is one of my favorites. I decided to keep it for myself because the last time when me and Tina did it in the summer for our semi-annual sale, I was debating on whether I was going to give it away for a gift, but I couldn't give it away. I mean, there's so many things that you could layer. You're the one with. This is one of my favorites for the fall season as well, too. It's very gourmand. So if you like uh, velvet rose and strawberry nectar, then you definitely will love You're the One. All right. Another one. One of my favorites that I love for the fall season is champagne, apple, and honey. I absolutely, you can't go wrong. This is the perfect fall fragrance staple, and you can layer it with so many things. Rob, they're bringing it back for the holiday? Yes. What, you're the one? Um, I just can't get into that faceted packaging, that simple faceted packaging. Now, we 
I'll get into some of the legal stuff they got going on. That's why it was on Friday. My cousin texted me um today, and she said, girl, did you go for the two-for-one? I said, do you get the mailers? And my thing is, they don't really send the mailers out to certain people. I don't even get the mailers. I only get the, if you go and you use your points and you use your rewards, whenever you purchase something, and you can rack up like that. But I want the one that I really, really want is Luminous. Tina talked about Luminous in her video, and my cousin says she got the candle for it. And Luminous is that girl. Everybody's talking about it. Now, some people have, you know, it's been a miss, how would I say, misunderstanding on the smell of it. Some people say it smells like something for a more mature woman, but some people say it smells good. So I'm definitely going to get Luminous. That's on my wish list. And Midnight Martini. So that's another one that I'm looking forward to as well, too. Now, snowflakes and cashmere, that's one of my mom's favorites. That is one of my favorites, too, for the fall season. On the website, they do pop up coupons for 20% off. Now, they did the 550 single weeks this week, if I'm not mistaken. And now I think tomorrow will be the 595 uh, body care, if I'm not mistaken. One of these sales, because I've seen, I think it was Sense Galore or Bath and Body's Life, one of them posted, and I've seen it. $5.95 for yes, body care. Yes, five ninety five oh. tomorrow. All right. Yeah, for the okay. body care thing. I'm doing that one. I ain't doing no single with candles. Like, that's not Girl, worth it to me, know. but the body care one, because all the new stuff is out, that one's worth it. Now, $13.95 the day for the three wick candles. That's not bad, but I'm waiting for a sets because Laura, when I messaged Tina, I said, Tina, you ready for the tea? You ready for this collab, girl? She said, I told T, I said, right in that comments, I said, I'm waiting for the sale, the after, what is it, the after Christmas sale? Yeah. Which is on the 20th. Yeah. So it's going to be a markdown. I want these candles, these three weeks to go down to like 10. I think that's a great They have idea, candles great candle. coming the first weekend in December, and they should be around that price too. Since All right. The Lord posted a lot of the ones that's going to be out during that time, if y'all missed it, because I didn't make a video really this week because I was sick. But, um, she posted it and it showed like what they have coming out for um, Candle Day and some things that's coming right after. And like inside the page, Daily Fine posted it too. So they both have. Oh, yeah. Ten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rob says, All I want is Coco Shea body oils. Now, you shouldn't have said that. That's Tawana T's favorite. She loves Coco Shea. Yes. I need that for the low lows. Now, Another one that I want them to bring back and hopefully they repackage is Ivory Cashmere. That's a perfect fall winter scent all year long. And I love it. It lasts all day on me. For some reason, it's different people's body chemistries react different to certain scents. Like my mom will put on, um, y'all remember Carried Away. She put on Carried Away. And as soon as she left out the room, I could smell it on her. On me, sometimes scents don't last long and I have to go and reapply throughout the day. So what I do is I take it in my handbag with me while I'm on the go and kind of refreshing up, kind of freshen up my perfume. Um, the body butter is amazing. How about the Glotion? How do you guys feel about the Glotion? Oh, I can't see no comments. I can't see nothing. That's crazy. I, IG is tripping on us because he can't see the comments. I can see it, but he can't. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess that's what I want. It's the body butter. Now, some people have mixed emotions about that lotion. I Listen, if you're going to apply lotion, if you wear a lot of off-the-shoulder dresses like I do or like the dress that I'm wearing today, see my back is all yeah, out, yeah. then you will definitely... Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, then, you'll put on the, then you'll have to get those gloves and, and rub it on that way so that the glitter doesn't get on your hand because that glitter is hard to get off. I'm telling you. I bought, what? which one was it? Um, I cannot remember. It's one of them. I, one of them, right? And it comes, they just repackaged. Someone said it's like, it looks like a bridal perfume. I cannot remember the name of that one right off the top of my head. But they had a lotion. And I put it on, and it was all over my hands. I could not get it off. So the lotion is hard to get off, but I prefer the body butters. Now, Tree Hut. Let's talk Tree Hut for a minute. I'm going to go from Bath and Body Works to Tree Hut. Yeah. They've already put their holiday collection out, the candy cane. I want. I want. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, I want all of it. Like, there is so much. Dove even has a new one. Amber put it. Like, I want to say shout out to Close by Amber. She uh, brought it up about it. And, y'all, it is beautiful, the new stuff from Dove that they have for the holidays. Like, I want to smell all of it. I want to the store probably tomorrow so I can smell all of it and get a video and stuff like that. Um, but I'm really interested in it. They have a lot of new uh, lines that came out just for the holidays, so it's kind of interesting. Rob said, girl, Tree Hut got a hold on me. And when I seen the winter holiday collection, I said, yes, I got to have it. And sometimes if you're in certain locations, Walmart will be will get stuff kind of late at the last minute. Yeah. Like I was looking for the exotic body scrub, the exotic flower body scrub. And they didn't have it in the other Walmart. We have two Walmarts down here. And if you go further out in certain parts of South Carolina, I got the dub. I don't get don't get the sugar cookie peppermint bark is amazing. Now, oh. if I get anything that's got like sugar or coconut in it, co what is it? Cocoa cocoa. I use the Olay sugar and cocoa. Now that yeah. smells good. Delicious. It smells so good. So pepper Mint bark, um, twisted peppermint or winter candy apple. Twisted peppermint and winter candy apple. I'm glad that they bought winter candy apple back. I love the packaging on the new three wick. I think it's very simplistic and beautiful. And the candle holders. Let's talk about these hundred fifty dollar candle holders because we T T and me went off on that. I said what? Uh, yeah. But. How do y'all feel about the candle holders, Rob, y'all, in the comments? How do y'all feel about those candle holders? Because they're beautiful, but I'm like, Bath and Body Works, is y'all crazy? Beyonce already trying to get us, because she just dropped the fragrance for Say No Yeah. The bottle is beautiful, and it's $130, if I'm not mistaken, on the site. So, yes. It's $130. I think so, on the site, <laughs> on the Beyonce Parfum site. It's, then she goes, it, people put 3K for the ticket. I, her ticket <laughs> and not a fragrance. Let me go check that out. Let me double check. Oh, my God. And she got the movie. But I'm not in the candle holders. Yes. The Santa Claus and then the train. The train one is beautiful, too. Yeah, I love the um, train. 100 when t put it up in her video and then i went and i checked the site i said 150 for a candle holder i mean does it do tricks does it spin i mean what <laughs> does it make what? noise does it shoot you around the whole house if not no thanks Stop. right <laughs> the one that i'm really really looking forward to is pistachio and toasted vanilla and merry cookie those those are the ones that i want yeah. In the three wick. Yeah. Winter, of course, winter is a good smell too. And sweater weather and tis the season. I got some new, new one that just came out. It got pear in it. I forgot what it's called. Um, but whatever that new one with pear, it gets the whole living room, kitchen, dining room. It smells so good. Like it's supposed to be like you're walking in snowfall or something like that with a hint of pear or something like that. That thing is so good. So if you're thinking about it, it's in the green packaging, it is it's worth the money. It's definitely worth the money. Because I got it during, like, I think a thirteen ninety five sale or something like that. And it was really, really good. Rob says she's burning pistachio toasted vanilla right now. I love scents that are sweet that light up the whole entire house. Like, my room, if you step outside the hallway, you can hear it. I mean, not hear it, but you can smell it. Welcome. Welcome, Misa. And, no, it's actually 160 on Beyonce's um older parfum. The 1.7 oh, is 160. 1.7? She got a sample. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a sample. Uh, what? Oh, no. That's too rich for me. You know. Because <laughs> especially if you don't know what it smells like, like we're just going off on wing and a prayer because Beyonce, that's a lot of money. All right, here's the scent notes, yes. okay? Yes. Clementine, Golden Honey, Rose Absolute, Jasmine Samba, Nahimbian 
I, I can't pronounce that. And then golden amber. It's exciting. <laughs> the bottle is beautiful. She has the bottle. Uh, yeah. But I, I'll wait. We'll wait. Now it begins shipping in November. Rob said, yep, I'm cheap. <laughs> Second bed. <laughs> Hot cocoa and cream and sugar snickerdoodle. I love sweet scents. Rob says, sound very mature. Nora, Nora smells good to me, hypnotic skincare. Now, she sent me some body scrub, and I layered that with Plumeria. If you like peach scents, peach is always in, never goes out of style for the fall. So definitely check out hypnotic skincare. Her body scrub that she sent me, dream smells just like peach. And what I love about it is that it kept my skin all glowy and everything. So y'all go and check that out put it on Claire now. Now, what else am I looking forward to these winter scents? Jo is a Jolly Gingerbread Village? Because they put so much up on the site. New, new um, Bath and Body Works. The Gingerbread Village one? I love, yes. I love the packaging on it. I, I like having the, um, what, they got the reindeers and Santa or something on it? That is cute. I want to smell it. I haven't even seen the, I've seen the videos everybody's been doing. I don't comment as much, but I see the videos and I want to go in the store and actually see what's going on. Like, I haven't been in there in a minute. Um, Hypnotic Skincare says, after pay Beyonce, LOL. <laughs> uh, yes. Pay it for. <laughs> Listen. She tried to get all our money. I mean, she just sold out the Renaissance War Tour, oh. and now this fragrance drop. I think it was the day before or yesterday, the day before. Target has a tree hut scrub set for twenty five. You get a five dollar gift card with a twenty five dollar purchase. That's a win. That's a win. definitely. A win. Now another fragrance company that I'm looking at trying is what is it? Refinery. I think Finery. I want to try them. Yeah, they're in. I smelled it. It smells good. The packaging is really pretty. That's what I like. It's nice and a clean look. I like that a lot. Misa says, I hope Bath and Body Work brings back sparkling icicle or snowflake and citrus in candle form or room spray. Now, with that room spray, because I remember, let me tell you all a funny story. I never told you all the story before, but I got one of the room sprays. Um, and it was tis the season. So I sprayed it in the house and in like my kitchen dining area. And my father came in and he was just like, don't, <coughs> don't ever spray that. Don't ever spray that. So my mama was sitting there laughing. Everybody was laughing. And it was just like, who sprayed something? So yes, walk out the room if you're going to use them room sprays, especially tis the season. How many sprays? did you do? I did one spray and that was in the kitchen dining area and my father was pumping <laughs> and my mom was saying don't ever do me a favor don't ever spray that again my mom be through my house every room four or five times I'm like lady you got to kill us we gonna die <laughs> and it tickles right here in your throat I have the cherry perfume that's it will do it. It's it's very peppery. And I went back and I read the reviews. My mama said, get rid of that. Don't ever spray that again. <laughs> the cherry perfume from Finery. Um, yes, speaking of I'm glad they brought back Dahlia. Dahlia is one of my favorites. I love fairy tale. Um, golden berry mistletoe. I've heard some stuff about that one too. And dark kiss. Now I had a bottle of dark kiss, but the spray top broke. And I accidentally turned it over my basket of body lotions and stuff. I was devastated. So I got to go back and replace my dark kiss. I'm glad they bought it back. Um, what else? Pure Wonder was the one that I was talking yeah. about. I couldn't think of the name of it. Pure Wonder. The one that they said looks like, like a wedding. I had the glotion to that one. And that glotion is hard to get off your hand. So if you're going to do like what I'm wearing today, that's that'll be the best time. If you go into like a New Year's party or something, that's when you break out that lotion or yep. the um, sparkle fragrance mist. 
That's when you do it. The Diamond Shimmer Mess. I said Sparkle Fragrance Mess. Diamond Shimmer Mess. Um, glad they brought back Strawberry Snowflake. Yeah, the package That's is so cute. Like it goes with their whole pink little thing that they're doing this year. It's so cute. I love that one. It's almost like it's almost like when you write a Christmas card to somebody, and there's a little there's a little bird or something on the outside. That's beautiful. So yeah. there's the snowflakes and cash not not snowflakes and cash but strawberries snowflakes. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! Another one that I'm looking. I want to try luminous. I want to see what luminous oh, is about. And I got that. I love that. What would I layer it with though? I ain't late with nothing but Luminous. So I don't know. <laughs> Y'all help her in the comments. What would she put with Luminous? I wanted fairytale body butter, but it was Glotions. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves the body butter okay. from. Um, Why? Hold on. Why y'all hate on Glotions? I can't see all the comments. I can't see the comments. But why y'all hate on Glotions? Because Glotions is lit. That, that glitter is hard to get off. I know. I know it is. Because, funny story. Um, I was I put on the lotion into the night. Um, I went and got in the bed uh, with my boyfriend. As soon as he got out the bed, he said, "Don't ever put that stuff on again." I said, "What?" He said, "I can't get this out of my skin." <laughs> I said, "Well, if you want to make sure he ain't talking to nobody, put on the lotion, then give him a hug, and then he's gonna be listening all day long. Like he ain't gonna be able to get it off. <laughs> it's gonna be stuck." <laughs> I hate on glitter in general. If I'm a girly girl, I love glitter. I love to sparkle, especially when I'm wearing my evening gowns. If I'm wearing something off the shoulder <laughs> or it's got a deep skin, I want my skin to glow. And especially after you get that fresh wax, those legs are waxed and everything. I like to glow all over. So yeah. Definitely. Or you use the diamond shimmer mist. That would be my suggestion. That would be easier. Yeah. So I want look. Luminous. That's something that I have to add to my wish list. Sweater weather, of course. Um, Rob said, said Tina got him sparkling. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. Is that what you said? <laughs> Sweet cinnamon pumpkin and what I, did they bring back Fall and Bloom? Because that's one that I really, really want them to bring back. Okay. Fall and Bloom. Fall and Bloom came back. And then Autumn Drive is another one of my favorites for the fall winter months too. So they need to bring that one back. Yeah, that, that one. I don't think Autumn Drive came back. They gave us um no. something together, something together weather or together whatever. That thing was like cough syrup. I did not like that. Whatever that together thing was. Let me see. Um, and for, for the fellas, I haven't forgot about you. I haven't forgot about you. You know, we I had to dig in the in the fellas cabinet for for that one as well too. After dark, this is a perfect fall winter scent right here. And for my ladies, don't be afraid to use your boyfriend's lotion and layer it with some of your fragrance. I layered this one with Christian Seriano's Midnight. And when I tell y'all, y'all will thank me later. Y'all will thank me later. Or I will do Lady Gaga's fame with this one and it smells so good yeah uh fall and bloom came back and faceted now the faceted yep. went up to like 1895 they need to go back down on that faceted they don't went up on the faceted the sale tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, faceted went down and shocked us when we had our summer semi-annual sale and they had it marked down for like three something or four something yeah. and I racked up and I got my what was it um fresh cut lilac was one of the ones that I got and I think uh, coconut Waikiki Waikiki Beach or Tiki Beach one of them yeah Waikiki but Beach. this one was it's, it was 16.50 and now it went up to like 18.95 for the facet and the facet that's the one, my favorite one out of the ones for the fall, if we're going to go back to fall, was leaves. Like, that surprised mm -hmm. me. Like, I'm loving leaves. I wear leaves all the time. It smells so good. Some people don't like leaves, but that thing right there was like the thing, that thing, thing. 
And Bath and Body Works, please give us another mini sale because I see a little bit of the minis that I want as well too. Twisted Peppermint is one of the ones that I want. Yeah. Rob says faceted is so basic and plain looking. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. If you if you are a minimalist, this the faceted is for you. I like something that has a little design on it. Like you're the one when they put it in the faceted, it was just like okay, boring. What you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Hi, media boss queen. Welcome. I am doing wonderful. Baltimore in the building. Yes, we're here with our girl Tina Marie. We are talking about the newest Bath and Body Work collection for the holidays. And the year has went out so fast, y'all. So I can only imagine okay. what sales they're going to have coming our way. So y'all better rack up on y'all's coupons if you get the mailers. I, I told my cousin today when I texted her, um, I don't get the mailers. She got the mailers, but I don't get them for some reason. They only send them out to certain people, Bath and Body Works. Yep. Like my mama get them, I won't get them. You you get them? You don't get them either. That's crazy. Nah, I don't get them that much. The new ones, I didn't get those. Yeah, they need to send out the mailers for the holidays because before you know it, Thanksgiving and then Christmas. I would love to have y'all on my live Wonder Women podcast show. Oh, yeah, I have to link in. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for that follow. Let me follow you back, my love. Definitely. I got I just got mine two days ago. You got your mailer? Well, me and T haven't got ours. Yeah, I get one. Me, me is that the person that I love dearly, my mom, she gets the mail. Try signing up again on a new account. That's how I started getting coupons. I'm a try, I definitely will, Rob. Girl, because I'm telling you, I don't get them. My aunt or either my mom will get the Bath and Body Works mailers. And give us a mini sale, Bath and Body Works. I, the minis. Yeah, I need those new lipsticks. Me too. Yeah. Like they got the purple. I like, I like those. those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the candle holders. Like, We're going to get into them, the candle holders, because we touched on them briefly. And I went through a few of my favorites. Now, in the stars, of course, they brought that one back in a different package as well too the packaging is beautiful and in the stars so this one lasts all day from my understanding it's out of random because i didn't get the mailers for a long time yeah rob said that if you go back and anyone tried to do nope. detergent now i heard mixed reviews about that return that detergent i still didn't try my free one yet i'm scared <laughs> yeah um, who was it? It was, I follow her on YouTube, Sarah Star. She said she literally had to go back and put some more and she didn't want it to bubble over because you know what happens when you put too much in the washing machine, it'll mm -hmm. bubble over. Um, love the holiday candle holders, but they're so damn expensive. Girl, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Let, let me get into that. Bath and Body Works, y'all tried it. <laughs> y'all tried it. Y'all tried it. Y'all tried it. Y'all tried it. They must have some, some kind of special magical powers or something. Lord, let me get to that. <laughs> I heard good things about the laundry stuff. Yeah, I heard mixed reviews. The first person that I heard it from was Sarah. She said she tried it and she had to put another cap fill in when she got the sample. At first, they was giving out the sample. And now they got the full size um, bottle of detergent on the site so y'all go and check that out as well too let me see i think it's like 27 something because the first person who told asked me about it was um hypnotic skincare she asked me she said did you try it all right, all right laundry detergent let's get to that yep 1995 um and you got mahogany teak wood cactus blossom uh champagne toast sun drenched linen and of course Lavender Vanilla Sunshine Day, Eucalyptus Mint, and JCB. And me and T, you know how T feels about JCB. I'm going to get it for my mom. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> hey, but I tried the, um last year, I 
year they came out with a it was just cherry blossom winter cherry blossom or something yeah halfway through that one so maybe i like something it ain't jcb but i like something with the b in it you know like but the jcb i can't get into the other one i like so that one's good I'm not going to try the detergent because they look so small and so expensive, and I'll stick to my game. Then that, I'll stick to my game. Once they have a sale, I try to land you, the laundry stuff. Yeah. Yes. Um, December 26th, again, make sure make sure that y'all mark your calendars December 26th. That's after Christmas. They trying to get us right after Christmas. So get everything you can. And I was telling my cousin today, you better rack up. She said, I did the two for one. I said, mm -mm, don't do that. Make sure you use your mailers, use your coupons, and rack up if you have extra points as well, too, inside. You can yeah. promote your business on my live platform show. Thank you, Media Boss Queen. I would love that. Definitely. And I'm pretty sure my girl T here would as well, too, so I can't wait. All right, now let me get into these candle holders. Bath and body works. Let, let's come here, sister. Let me talk to you for a minute. All right. Okay, the happy snowman scene is $16.95. That's not mm -hmm. bad. Um, holiday lights is not bad, $12.95. But what gets me is the $150. The, and I think it was the train or either the Santa Claus. That's, that's the train. The Santa Claus is $89.99. But they had that sale where you got one, you got one free. So that was all right. That wasn't too bad. If you really wanted multiple. It's like now these are these are fair prices like 15 and now if you use your coupons if you have coupons and stuff inside the app then i suggest you get these and what i love is that you can go in the cutout corner pedestal is 30. that's a little bit much yeah um bling feet is 14. um eight 7.95 is not bad it switches the silver branches which is very beautiful i love the train i know right i do too it is so pretty <laughs> Oh, I love that chalice. That chalice is beautiful. And that's $10. That's not bad. Now, before it was $39.95, now it's only $10. The Black Mr. and Mrs. Santa plug in. Yes. Oh, yes, my nephew is coming tomorrow, y'all. I'm so excited I get to meet my nephew. He is so adorable. And he looks just like my brother. So. I can't wait to hold him. I'm an auntie now, y'all. I forgot to tell y'all. So I'm excited I'm about it. Yes. He just was born September 27th. And oh, all oh, no. and everything. Oh, my God. My son is December 19th and my nephew is December 20th. Plus Christmas, I'll be broke rubbing two minutes together by December. But look, girl. There is Zara, he called me. I feel you because I got Justin's birthday that was October 17th, Christian November 7th, Grace is December 30th, and in between before Grace, you got Christmas. So it's like four things in a row. I'm like, this is my broke season. I can I consider this the broke season because I got nothing. And then you got candle that you got to throw in there in the beginning of SAS and the other sales they put in between. I'm like, what's going on here? It's a lot. <laughs> They trying to get us right after Christmas, y'all. I I would think I can only imagine what they have coming up on Black Friday because I know that's gonna be the craziest time as well too. With a lot of people trying to get in the stores, rushing the stores and get what they want. So I say shop now, and that's what I was trying to tell my mom. Make sure you rack up and use your coupons if you have them, and also go inside the app if you have them. Some on the app as well too. Now I have to download the Bath and Body Works app because yeah. I use my reward. That's how I get my um some of my free stuff is I use my reward. That yeah. spider web is pretty though. Eight seventy three is not bad. Go down a little bit more. <laughs> Pick a struggle. I know that's right. <laughs> right after Thanksgiving, I can only imagine what else they have coming our way. The five ninety five sale is tomorrow, so yeah. make sure y'all use your coupon now. One that I really, really like is that Red Bowls and Snowflake. That's pretty. That's $14.95. Yeah. I'm going to wait till 
SKS and see what how how low it's going to drop then. That holiday train sleeve is so beautiful and the train topper, the magnetic train topper is so pretty too. Only $20, but I'm going to wait till SAS. So I'm going to hold off. Because I was telling my cousin and then she said, girl, get the two for one. I got, I did the two for one. I said, ah, oh, I'm, I'm hold off at the after the holiday. <laughs> so 75. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we talked about that wallflowers. Um, how many of you guys I just love the wallflowers in there as well too. And another one of my favorite fragrances that I love for the fall winter months is whipped coconut milkshake. They need to bring it back. Bring it back, please. That is one of my favorites. It is so delicious. Sugared amber, vanilla ice cream, and coconut. Perfect for the fall season mm -hmm. as well too. That's another mm -hmm. one of my favorites. And I also love whipped rose latte please bring that one back for the fall as well too that's one of my favorites as well too and i don't even like rose and that joint is i was mad i didn't buy more when it came out i was like oh this is really good and i don't even like rose but that thing is fine Ooh. i like it it's that cocoa for me it's the cocoa for me <laughs> it's the cocoa that got me um because I don't like the fall selection and most of the Christmas selection, I go to SES for the sanitizers and hand soap. Yes, the hand soap. Give us another two ninety five hand soap sale. That's at three fifty, three twenty five. Uh, uh I get my. I I like get it. For <laughs> <laughs> the coconut one is delicious. Oh yes, and anything that's got coconut in it is a must for me. Now another one that I want them to bring back for the fall season even though this is like a spring summerish scent is sweet petal pound cake my mama fell in love with this one as soon as she smelt it on me she said what did you put on and I had to go and get her her own bottle so when it was close to the last day of SAS and they put it back up on the site I got her one so this one does it for me that's another one of my fall favorite right. favorites and the lemon one, that whole little scent was cute. I was hunting that stuff down in pieces, mm -hmm. so I got them all. So that one was good. All right. Now, Saray, she said hand soaps. On the site right now is three fifty five, three fifty, three dollars and fifty cents. So you got winter, winter candy apple, which is one of my favorite. Pink sparkling spritz, strawberry snowflakes, which is another one of my favorites. Um, twisted peppermint, I want that one of yeah. course. And I love the perfume of coconut mint drop. That's pretty too. It's about the color of the lipstick I'm wearing today. Almost. Um, Tis the season, frosted cranberry, fresh balsam, crushed candy canes, sweater weather, winter citrus wreath. I have that one, but it's like in the older packaging. And toasted vanilla chai, cookie butter truffle. I'm going to see what that is. I like that whole collection, like that collection of those with the cookie butter truffle on that one. The packaging, everything with that one is so nice. I've seen that last time when I was in stores, but I only picked up the cookie butter truffle that one time I went. Rob, I'm, I'm going to try that one too. Pomegranate and rose. Before you know, I didn't like, she did not like anything that had rose in it. We talked about it when we first met and she said, I don't do rose. I don't do florals. I'm not a floral girl, but now she's hooked on rose. Yeah, now I thought Little, you know, little rabble dabble sometimes. <laughs> Just sometimes I can't do it a lot, but if it's all right, if I if I can stand it, I do it now. I don't know if it's because now I'm more into more perfume and more perfumes. Is, you can't get away from floral, like you just can't. So I think I'm starting to adapt and come on over to the other side a little bit. But I'm not on like a fresh cut lilac side. I'm not there yet, but I'm coming over a little by little. I'm mad we didn't get a bakery collection. Me too. What I really, really want them to do is give us some like a holiday dessert collection. Like they've already given it to us. Some of it in soap form and in body care form, like Jolly Jolly Gingerbread Village, yeah. which is which I've heard is pretty good. And sugar plum roll, sugar plum and rose is pretty good also too. I haven't smelt it, but I've heard reviews about that one. One of my favorites I'm crazy about is Marshmallow Farm Side. That's another one of my faves. And Winterberry Ice. So 
go rack up YD350 if you guys can do that price. But I'll wait for 295 I think the 295 hand soap sale is the best. That's the best time to get it to. Yeah. Um, bright yeah. Christmas morning. What I love about Bright Christmas morning is that blood orange. It in instantly lasts all day long, literally. Rob said the uh, uh, Rob said she don't like uh, rose either, but loving the new rose and magnolia aromatherapy. I got the lotion. I think slap. It's so good. It's so good. We like. I want to like it maybe a little bit, and we just don't know how much we like it. Oh, some women, yeah, some women don't like rose. Men automatically think we like rose scents or, or just roses in, dinner, in general, but yeah. I like magnolia. I love magnolia. So, Rob, you said something that stood out to me. I love magnolia mm -hmm. um, and dahlia. I like dahlia, magnolia, lilac, tulip, anything that smells like that or violet or orchid. That, that draws me in instantly. The most exotic of the exotic flowers. Yeah. Um, Misa said, is there a limit in the States on how much soap you can buy, hand soaps? I think 20 is the limit. Yeah, after 20, like the registers are supposed to take it to regular price. So all they got to do is split up your transaction and then you can do it and keep going. And normally they, they don't give you a hard time. Like normally they don't. <laughs> Older church lady. <laughs> now, it's one that really, um, the fragrance that I have this like a, it's kind of like a rose, very clean, fresh floral scent. It's Kim Kardashian, um, Fleur Fatal. And it's not too, like Rob said in the comments, it's, no, was that Zaray? Yeah, Zaray said in the comments, um, it's not too church lady smelling. It's, it's perfect. So you can blend it in with anything. And I layered it with that whipped rose latte. You will thank me later. I'm telling you. Hypnotic says that magnolia. Now we got coconut angel cake, which I want to try, and vanilla icicles, which they brought back. The packaging is beautiful. I like that gold. Me too. Gingerbread bakery. Went to Iris and Ciderwood. I already pulled out some of my ho um my holiday soaps, but the packaging are old is older pack. Snowy peach berry, coffee and whiskey, silver snowfall, Palo Santo and sage. I hope they go down on the soap refills at SAS too, because I want to try them. I want to see what that's about. Yeah. But overall, I think the holiday packaging is beautiful. I've been looking at it. Let's see what else they got. Um, golden citrus and vanilla. Your basics. So yeah, that's it for the hand soaps. And uh, uh, what other scents do I have up here? Twinkling Nights. Please bring it back, Bath and Body Works. This is one of my favorite. As you can see, it's a dent in the bottle because I've really been using it so much. So yeah, I think mine is. In, I don't even think because I'm in my uh my kids' bathroom, but yeah, I don't even think I got any more of that one because I keep my backup down here. I don't even think I got any more of that one. I think I used that up because that thing. Mm. It's that whipped, it's that whipped vanilla scent for me. I layered this one with Dream Angel by Victoria's Secret, and oh my god, it's it's so luscious. It's it's so succulent. I love it. <laughs> one thing that I like, especially for this time of year, is midnight pomegranate. Like mm. I still got old school midnight pomegranate in my collection. I'm trying to use it right now. But midnight pomegranate is perfect for this weather going all the way up to about, I like to have it through January. Um, I know Zara's mom says she don't do by seasons, whatever she's in the mood for. Like normally I do that too, but it's just some sense that only feels sometimes and it's got to be like a season for it and you feel it and it takes you back to this moment in time and you just stick with that sense for that moment in time kind of thing. That's how it yeah. when it comes to the sense. But sometimes I'll wear some of my spring scents in the wintertime. I like to break the rules just a little bit. And I'll put on, what are some fragrances that I wear? I'm looking at my vanity. Tees by Victoria's Secret. I, you can wear that all year long. It's a perfect scent. That, for me, it's that vanilla inside of it. 
is vanilla. Vanilla is a scent that can be worn all year long. It doesn't matter if it's Christmas, Thanksgiving, spring, summer, whatever. All year long, you can wear it. Now, another one of my favorites for the fall winter months is the, is the classic moonlit cap. You can't go wrong with this one. And what I do is I spray my pillows with it. I love it. I layer it with um, Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy. I like Midnight Fantasy, though. Or I will layer Sapphire Moon with Midnight Fantasy. It's, I tried so many scents with that one alone. It smells so good. So Moonlit Path. And those are just a few of my um, fall, winter fragrances. Now, now, candles, we talk. Candles, we talk. Body care. What else is Bath and Body Works going to give us? The five ninety five sale starts tomorrow, so I'm yes, excited sir. about that. Make sure and that's a few more days. Oh, yeah. I got mine. <laughs> I'm excited for it. I'm, I am, because I haven't bought nothing in a minute. Like, I've been good. I've been being, hey, but I've been real good, like, with the spending limits and staying in it because my collection is like it's so large that it's overwhelming and it stresses me out so it's like i don't care it's new i don't need it so i don't buy it kind of thing i'm at that point now because i know for new people when they just get started it's so exciting but after you start doing it for so long and then you start making videos then you just excessively buy stuff to you just get disgusted and you just give it all away it's too much just as a certain thing is too much so when you go to the sale tomorrow just be mindful like make a list what do you really really want that was really calling your name because if not don't get it because 5.95 does add up and it adds up quick it ain't like it's three dollars six dollars that's basically what it is six dollars an item and that tax tax too don't forget it yeah i'm sitting this one out i have way too much now Bonnie, shout out to Bonnie, queen of the girl geeks. Yeah. She said, when you shop in SAS, the one tip that she gave me, she said, add everything and subtract it by 20. Something she said, make sure you set yourself a budget, set yourself a limit if you are going to shop this 595 yeah. sale tomorrow. So you'll know you still have money left over because the holidays is right around the corner. Yeah. I know my birthday is Tuesday, Halloween. And then before you know it, Thanksgiving will be here and then Christmas. So. Yeah. Yeah. Time is now to get what you can. Yeah. Zare said her collection was so large that she had to give some away and now it's dwindling down. I literally have two baskets full of body washes and then some of the body creams. So the majority of it somewhat is body ecology mixed with a little bit of tree hair. I'm looking at the basket now. Mixed with a little bit of Bath and Body Works. Another one of my favorites, this one right here, and I pray that they bring it back, is that Prismatic Stars. I love this one so good. much. That at five ninety five will be cheaper with the twenty five percent off coupon. Yep. Uh oh, T sound went out. Yeah, I probably. I press mute. Grace talking. <laughs> yeah, she's talking. That five ninety five will be cheaper with the twenty five percent off coupon. If you guys get your mailers, use your mailers. I know. Um, like Rob said, I'm probably gonna have to sign up again on a different thing so that I'll be able to start getting the mailers because we used to get them, but I don't get them anymore. And my cousin, my cousin, I think he does. I think my cousin does too. If you got it, I'm telling you, go shop tomorrow and because the holidays is right around the corner. They are already putting Christmas stuff out in Walmart, Target, and um Five Below, all the other stores. So y'all make sure y'all go and get your holiday shopping in early. Keep calling customer service. I definitely will. You got yours yesterday, lovely? Girl, I need to get mine because they don't send them. I mean, my aunt used to get them, and then my mom would sometimes get them, but I don't get them for some reason. Even though I'm on the Bath and Body Works um, thing, the, the mailing thing, they don't send them to me. Or either the um, 
the rewards. I do the rewards sometimes, but it depends. They only give you a certain amount of rewards, which I hate. I wish they would give you more. But Lovely got her meal alert. Is the race says keep calling customer service. Yep, I sure will. Because I want my meal alerts. The holidays is coming. I'm ready to rack up. I know I'm really down on candles. All I have is like spring, summer candles left, but I want some holiday candles. So, mm -hmm. I can't wait for candle day. Mm -hmm. 1095. 13 is not bad, but 10 is, is, is my max. That's yeah. my max right there. Coupon. 10 and a coupon. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what it says. So what what other scents do I like for the fall winter months? Because I have a basket full right here. Um, for the winter season, I like Starlit Night. And I'm pretty sure they bought this one back. I think they bought it back in the facet. It smells very good. Snowberry, Midnight Iris, and Sensual Argwood. So, and she matches my lipstick too, so. Yes. Yep, this is another, another one of my favorites for the fall winter months. So I like to mix and match. It depends. Um, another one that I that I use too. So again, ladies, don't be afraid to use some of your um, men's body lotions and layer it with your fragrances as well too. You can't go wrong. Um, I use Manhattan Nightcap and then Christian Seriano. And then another one that I I'll use is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. I'm looking at the table right now to see which ones I have to layer it with. Um, you can't go wrong. And beach nights. So don't be afraid to mix and match well, your sitter and combo. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was gonna say I love beach nights. I love that one. This the old this is the older packaging because they changed it up, I think, for SAS. Yeah, they had one and yeah, and then they have an older one older than that, like the original beach nights. Oh, we forgot, Grace. Um, Golden Ocean Pearl, please bring that one back, please. I'm just about out of this one. As y'all can tell, I've really been using it. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Y'all know I'm going. I'm going to go there early. I'm going to be on time. You know, it's, we showing out. It's going to be like four videos. You know, we don't play. Candle Day is my favorite time to discover new YouTubers. Candle Day. Candle Day SAS is where I find all my new people. And I just love it. And it makes me fall in love with Bath and Body Works all over again. I don't even think it's the company anymore. I just think it's the people I meet because of the company that really makes me like Bath and Body Works. And she'll find, what shocks me is in her state where she's at, she'll find candles, she'll say, for $2, $6. I said, where? I'm in South Carolina. How come I don't see these deals? <laughs> I yeah, the to outlet. Well, the outlet has everything. And the outlet is close to my house. So it's very hard not to give into the temptation to go. Because, you know, it's like less than 15 minutes, boom, you at the outlet. So it's so hard not to go into it every day. It, it takes a lot. And if you, it depends on what state you're in, too. If you go in other states, in other stores, in other parts, I'm telling you, I'm in Cali, and I don't never. Now, there is an outlet in Los Angeles, in L.A., if I'm not mistaken, and California, too. There are outlets out there, too. You just have to hunt around for them. Hey, Laura. She was the one who told, Laura was the one who told me about December 26th. Yes. And I said, her, her nickname is LL, Lotion Laura. Oh. <laughs> Have a $2 a day wall. Oh, yes. I want some of the lip glosses. I want some of the lip glosses and the sanitizer. Yeah. The pocket bag. Me too. Now, my mom is hooked on the spray. Um, the spray sanitizer. She loves those and then the moisturizing sanitizer too. Hey, Laura. She said LL in the house. Yep. Use the first one. LL in the house. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's so many great deals for the holidays. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what else they have coming up. I know the five ninety five sale is tomorrow. Love you too, Laura. I 
remember calling me broke, LMAO, these glasses are Chanel, darling. <laughs> oh, yeah, he remembers that from last I time. I never called you broke. What are you doing? <laughs> Man, I ain't never called you rope. <laughs> Don't do me. I'm cheap as heck. <laughs> Don't do me. But they is Chanel though. <laughs> okay, what else do we have coming up from Bath and Body Works? Scent Works. And then there's another candle company too that I want to try. Homework. So it's a couple of them. Kringle. Yes, Kringle. I They're good. Some things I like them. Kimberly good and Kringle. Um, I checked out some of their reviews on Kringles. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to them to Kimberly and Santos. Yeah. So shout outs to them. Let's see what scents they got going on. Victoria's Secret also has some um, new scents as well, too. I haven't tried it yet. It's been a minute since I've been to Victoria's Secret to try some of their newer scents. Do you guys have Lush candles in? Ooh, I've heard I some heard things about them. Before. We do have, a, I do have a Lush around here, like maybe 30 minutes away. I never, I didn't know they made candles. Oh, I love the packaging on Kringle. You got Christmas lights, peppermint pop, uh, gilded leaves. Co I want Cosmo. We were just talking about I this. Yes. We talked about it at the beginning. Yes, we seen that plug by Amber. If you don't check her out, you need to on Instagram. But she posted it. Yes. She said the peppermint bark was the one to go and get the peppermint bark. She said stay away from that sugar cookie. That's a nah. Misa said, I got a few from Lush. I'm going to try Lush, and I want to try Kringle, too. Um, Cosmo is the one that I'm looking at. Peach puree with strawberry blossom and raspberry squirrel to give the iconic Cosmo its signature and beauty blend. And is the Cosmo one is the one that you sent me, right? The one that be having all those different designs where it look like drinks and stuff like that, right? Yes. With pink and all that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Those are are so pretty. She did one in um celebration of Beyonce's Renaissance, and she had the diamonds dripping around the um like the martini. Oh, it was so pretty. Y'all, please go and check her out. And she did one for the zodiac signs too. I'm a Scorpio. She had one for Scorpio. I said, at least give us some purple, give us some color. But she did. <laughs> okay, late night uh, herbs and. Spice, macaroons, Manhattan, pumpkin buns, radiant apple. I like Kringle. Yeah. That sugar cookie smells like Play-Doh. Yeah. And I ain't trying to be on Play-Doh. I already got enough kids that got Play-Doh. I ain't trying to be on Play-Doh. They can keep it. <laughs> I, I want to try the new Dove collection, too. Um, And, and I also want to try the Tree Hut collection. I'm a Tree Hut junkie. I'm starting to build up my tree hut collection. The only thing I need is the body butters and then the body wash as well too. So I'm excited about that. Now let me see what Lush do. Let's see what Lush talking about over here. Because Array was telling me about Lush. Okay. They got Snow Fairy, Christmas, Advance. Let's see what they got. Let's see. All right. Mm -hmm. They got Christmas Advent calendars, Snow Fairy, Secret Santa gifts. Let's see. All right. But Christmas um, Kringle candles, I want to try them as well, too. So they have a bunch of, a lot of deals out here. So just make yeah. sure you guys are racking up using your um, coupons. Oh, the Advent calendar is so pretty, and it makes a great, it looks beautiful. That is pretty. I've always wanted to try Snow Fairy. Does it smell good? Um, Laura said Lush is expensive. Yes. It yes. is, especially for these advent calendars. These are gorgeous. But $210 for an advent calendar? 
My God. Now it's it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but I'll wait for it to a sale. <laughs> they got shampoo conditioners. Um, snow fairy. Let's go to that. Because you guys asked about snow fairy. Let's see what we got. Um, but I'm crazy about these advent calendars. They make a great gift. Um, cotton candy sweetness. So for anybody who likes cotton candy scents, love Kringle candles. They have some unique scents. They really yes. do. And the one they burn clean. Clean. I love the packaging too. They're so beautiful. Um, Snow Fairy, because you guys asked me about Snow Fairy. Um, let's see the scent notes. I need a scent note. Got Halloween. Oh, they're so pretty. Cosmo and Kringle. Um, Cosmo's the one that I was looking at in the Manhattan. So I might try a couple of those. Too. But let's let's go to no. let's see what the scent notes are. Oh, bubblegum sweet vanilla. That, that pulled me in right there. Because when I think about Bubblegum, I think of bubblegum pop. Mm -hmm. Bath and Body Works. So if you like sweet scents, this one is definitely for you. So if you like sweet scents, Snow Fairy is for you. So I want to try this one. And, and that the pink is so beautiful. So that instantly drew me in. And I just redid my room too. Pink. So to go along with the whole Barbie aesthetic, because I started collecting Barbies, I said, well, let's go ahead and do the whole thing pink. So that background, when you see me do my um, sense of the day and my stories, if you guys follow me, that's the new bed setting and the new decor that I have in my room. It's pink. So let's see what else we got. Oh, yes, I'm going to go broke before Christmas hit. <laughs> hey, we all we all was talking about that, how we about to be broke. <laughs> Between Christmas and birthdays and sales, we broke. Now, the gift sets are not bad on here. 20, 43. They got the lip jellies. These are not bad. 20 ain't bad. Yeah. Um, they got the bubble bath bars. Now, I love bath bombs. I love bath bombs. Yeah. And I also love the shower gels as well, too. And the scrubs. So, 43, 20. They got lip jellies for 14. Um, they, they got melts. The body lotion is 15. They got the bubble bar, 13. That's not bad. And the bath bombs are 12. And they got the body spray. I like how they got the body spray. It's so cute. It's 45. The bath bomb is 850. So it's various prices on here. And, and they got the dusting powder. That's all you had to do was say that. Because I remember they used to have the powder puffs inside the, the little um thingy. Let's see what else we got. It's not like the other one. Gives you a little sparkle. So if you like sparkle, that's for you. If you like glitter, that is definitely for you. So I'm going to be checking out Lush. I'm going to be checking that out and Kringle Candles as well, too. So those are some of my fall, winter favorite scents. And what are the deals are you guys looking forward to for the holidays? Because like Jess just said in the comments, they're trying to get us. They're going to try to get us right after Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's when they're trying to get us. So mark your calendars, December 26th, like Laura said, because I don't know what Bath & Body Works is going to have marked down on sale, but I am ready for it. I want some more candles. And the good thing is with the sales, like – They've been needing business so much that they keep giving us more and more sales. So if you miss one, there's going to be another one. And I've never seen them do so many sales on new, new stuff. That kind of rings a bell, let you know they ain't selling like they used to. 
because if they were selling like they used to, they wouldn't be throwing all these 5.95s at us so much. We done had so many full body care days. Like I've never seen this many in a year. So something that's going on over there, people are starting to calm down on their purchasing. So it benefits the people that like to collect little things because you get to get them at a cheaper rate. So it's a win for us. And again, use those coupons. If you get the mailers, if you're already subscribed and you get the mailers, go ahead and use your coupons tomorrow. Tomorrow is the sale. And also, I can't wait for the upcoming candle day. I'm looking forward to the candle day sale because the only ones that I'm looking at right now is Flower Child and what's the other one? Riviera Perils. Those are the only two that I have left. I've been burnt. I went through my candles from SAS. So I need to get some holiday scent. I need nothing. But I'm going to get me some crates. <laughs> and their, their body scrubs. Now, I do need some body scrubs because I've been using my body scrubs down here. I'm looking in my basket. Um, what other scents do I like? I love Sunrise Woods. I'm crazy about Sunrise Woods. This is the miniature bottle. And then Hello Beautiful. So that's, but that's more so like a spring summertime scent, but I layer it. So, and, and of course, you can't go wrong without Midnight Amber Glow. Mm. This is the perfect fall scent. Yeah. Perfect fall scent. So I went through my basket. I have a basket full of stuff down there on the floor. And I had to literally take some off of my shelf because it was starting to fall off the shelf of so much. So my collection for the fine fragrances is building up. And my tree hub collection too. So I'm excited about that. All right, y'all. What are the sales are you guys looking forward to? Let us know in the comment. And we hope y'all enjoyed this live get prepared tomorrow is the sale 5.95 and i will have a recommendations video i will have also i'm gonna try to do a shop with me just has a, a hair appointment in the morning but when that's over i'm trying to do a shop with me and then probably in the shop with me i'll put my haul too and show you guys what i got so you guys can see what i got oh i can't wait and you know i'm already subscribed so make sure you guys head on over and subscribe to my girl tina marie again the singles are out she gave us a limited edition holiday halloween hit single elm street which is out right now the visuals are fire she's on you. fire you guys need to check out man eater also too she shot me i was like what mama marie gonna say about this girl uh, mama marie was at the video too <laughs> she was getting her best life at the video shoot. <laughs> but she like she was on the stripper pole and everything. Like she was going ham. <laughs> um, do we have Tina, my girl, and that is Hey ho Hope you you missed the whole thing, man. We've been in here for a while. You missed the whole thing, man. I couldn't set up in the beginning. I'm in the bathroom trying to escape the kids. You missed it all, Hope. <laughs> great time we talked about our fall favorite fragrances we talked about the upcoming sales at bath and body works we talked lush kringle we talked the new dove collection we talked tree hut we yeah. talked a number of things in today's show ladies if y'all missed it the replay is up and again y'all make sure y'all go and check out t's halloween hits that are out right now we love you oh. is too perfect timing so check it out man eater and elm street the visuals are fire mm -hmm. awesome. yeah i'm glad oh i'm glad you i hate you guys missed it later better than never yeah i'm glad you got but yeah. <laughs> welcome welcome do you guys have any questions for myself or T? We went, again, brief recap in case you, for those of you that are just coming in. Um, well, I went over a few of my favorite fall fragrances. Um, and me and T just talked about Bath and Body Works candle holders. We talked about some of the new winter fragrances that they have coming out for the holidays. Um, we know tomorrow is the $5.95 sale. What's my favorite perfumes? 
Ooh. For both of us, Rizzy, for me and T? I got one that's my favorite. Janelle Beige. That's my go-to sexy scent, money scent, I'm that ball scent. It's Chanel Beige. Um, mine's would be ooh, Mugler Alien Goddess. Y'all know I'm crazy about Terry Mugler, all things Terry Mugler. I dressed myself in, in a style that's almost similar to his. So it will be Mugler Alien Goddess. And Willow Ooh. Smith was the face of that fragrance. It's, it's that vanilla. I love vanilla scent. Yeah. And you instantly get compliments on it. And another one of my favorites that I fell in love with, I got a sample of it and I smelt it. And, and as soon as I put the sample on, I layered it with, um, what did I layer it with? It was in the stars and as soon as I went into one of my appointments, oh my God, somebody said, what do you have on? It is that Montel Paris Arabian top. That is one of my favorites. And it lasts for like 12 hours. So when you wake up, you will still have it on you. It's hard to get out. It's hard to get out your clothes. <laughs> that Arabian talker. Um, have you guys tried La Belle Parfum from... Lancome, Levian, Bell. So is it the one that's in the, the thin one? Ja the thin one? Talk about John Paul Gaultier, LaBelle, right? And Hope, uh, Mad About You, they be having it at the outlet. But at regular oh, stores, no. Nah. But at the outlets, yes, and online sometimes. Oh, yeah, John Paul Gaultier. I smell LaBelle. LaBelle smells good. But it was like a sample because every year Macy's will send me like a box. They just sent me some today. It's somewhere up here. Um, Paco Rabanne has a new one called One in a Million. So One in a Million Royale. Yeah. So I don't know what it smells like. For my fellas, because I, I try not to exclude the fellas. The fellas like, oh man, why you why you and T forget about us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, this one has, has notes of lavender, cedarwood, and benzoin. So, for the fellas, perfect holiday scent. And mad about you, I have mad about you because a girlfriend of mine, she asked, but it's in the older packaging. A girlfriend of mine, she asked me because I posted something in my stories on my old Instagram where I posted like my favorite spring summer scent. And she asked me, how did you get mad about you? Because that one is one that is very hard to find. But I'm pretty sure if you go to Macari yeah. or eBay, yeah. They got it. Yeah. Or if you, you go to Macari, they might got it. Yeah. Okay, what other samples did they send me? They sent me a Zaro Wanted and Kenzo Flower. I haven't smelt it yet. So, yeah, they sent me a few samples, but I always get my samples, and that's how I smelt the John Paul Gaultier LaBelle. So, oh, me too, girl. I love Mad About You. That's one of my favorites. It's, it's, it's a very flirty scent. Right. I'll let T take that one, Riz. Fresh cut lilac. Uh, I think you thought I was going to say JPV, but no, nah, fresh cut lilac. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. I love fresh cut lilac. <laughs> fresh cut lilac to me is worse than JCB. <laughs> You like LaBelle? I like, um, what's the other one? I haven't tried it yet. Um, Divine John Paul Gaultier Levine. Um, and Yara Shahidi from Black, and she's the face of it. So I said, yeah, I got. I want to smell that. I want to see what that one's about. Mm. Um, yeah. Oh, Kringle Candle just posted something. Um, avocado and Palm. So I'm going to see. That's the spring collection. I'm going to see what that's about. And I just followed you, Rizzy. All right. 
y'all all are coming in we are talking about some of our favorite scents yeah this Paco Rabanne oh yeah it's got the whole room lit up right now it's that one one in a million royale so fellas definitely this is one you want to get I just smell mm. the sample let's see how, how it smells with after dark I'm gonna layer it with after dark I'm doing this live so y'all can see Mm, yeah. That works. Right. So there you have it. That's for y'all. So you know that that's a good scent combo. Um, one in a million Paco Rabanne and After Dark Bath and Body Works. So that's a good combo too. Do we have any other questions for myself or T, ladies and gentlemen? I had such a great time dishing on these bath and body works holiday sales that we have coming up it's so much that's going to be coming up for the next few months so keep your eyes peeled i'm telling you can be lit i'm telling you get and rack up on your coupons if you get the mailers again save your mailers um they are already starting to send me holiday coupons but it's for other stores i don't get any for bath and body work so i'm gonna have to do like rob said and re-sign up and do it again so that i'll be able to start getting the mailers in the mail because what's odd is that my mom will sometimes get them or my aunt will sometimes get them but they don't send them to me and i'm a big avid bath and body work shop but i do online though so if you guys and make sure yes Check your rewards bag because they always send emails as well too in the morning time. First thing in the morning, I check my email and they will send you what deals is going to be coming out as well too. And make sure that you are following Bath and Body is Life and make sure you're following Sense Galore and also test Life inside the blog page as well too. Yeah. As well as Bonnie, Queen of the Girl Geeks, you'll be advanced into what's going on. Make sure you're following too because she'll catch it right if i don't catch it she'll catch it or anybody else will catch it you haven't gotten comp coupons in like a year relax she said how do she resign back up you got to use a new email just do a new email yeah. and create a new account so you use your backup email or something so you'll be able to get your um mailers because i haven't gotten them either yeah and sometimes I know if you do just one purchase with a new one registered they'll start sending you coupons because that's how my mom got coupons she never had the app she signed up when she did one purchase, then coupons just start coming to her all the time. Yep. New yeah. New email. Gotcha. So for all of the junkies, for all of my Bath and Body Works lovers in here, that is what you need to do if you are not getting the mailers. Because I know I'm one of the people, I don't get them. And I think T doesn't get them either sometimes. But she'll use Mama Marie's Yeah, sometimes. Mama. Marie is always available. I even got her login, so I'm good. <laughs> um, relax my thoughts. Sign up online or in store. I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't know. That I, I don't now, know. if you do it online, I think you would have to, Um, like Rob said, you would probably have to do it under a different thing. You probably have to do it under a different thing, and then you'd be able to get your coupons that way. But if you have a store, you have to find a new one if you have like a backup thing and do it so you'll be able to get your coupons. And I just figured out the heck. I'm like, why haven't I been getting any Bath and Body Works mailers? But I get my rewards when I go and I check, when I purchase something and I see it'll say something new is in your bag. They'll send me an email and let me know. That's how I know how many points I have. They'll tell you how many points you have and then the little circle thing will go around. So, how you doing? Yeah. You can do either way. I don't know which one will jumpstart and kick you in. Um, but you can do either way. It, it doesn't really matter. My mom did one, but she did hers in stores. So, I don't know because she did it in stores. It jump kicked her quicker than if she would have did it online. 
but I've done one online uh, twice and it didn't give me extra coupons. So maybe in store might work better. Just go make you a small little purchase and then sign up right then and there so they can put you in the system as new with them. And maybe that does boost you up. Might as well if you're going to the store anyway, especially if you're going to the sale tomorrow. Five ninety five sales. So mm -hmm. go ahead and jump on, on that right now. If you go into the store and sign up again, an email and all. Yeah. Because so the sale is tomorrow. Um, the ho holidays is coming, y'all. So Bath and Body Works is trying to burn us out. Literally, they're trying to burn our pockets out. Definitely. All right. Definitely going to the sale tomorrow. You going to the five ninety five? I'm waiting on candle day and I'm waiting on the soap sale. That's what I need. Cause I wait. Well, there's only two fine fragrances that I want, and that's midnight martini and luminous. I want to try those. And then some of the hand soap, hand soaps, and then the candle. That's what I really need more for. So than anything. Bye, guys. I'm in there. All right, Hope. Yeah, I'm about to get out of here, too, because Justin got to get picked up. He already just texted me. Are y'all here? No, I'm busy. <laughs> but, yeah. Did y'all shop today? Soaps on sale? Yeah, three. Nope. I'm waiting for, like, two ninety five. I'm waiting for two ninety five. Me, too. And then, then I'll go. I'm holding yeah. off. I'm, I'm behaving myself. All right, I can't keep my girl t she said she gotta go pick up her son y'all so i'm gonna leave y'all with today's final thoughts which comes from maya angela i'm gonna give y'all some encouragement the desire to reach the stars ambitions is the desire to reach hearts wise and most possible and that comes from maya angela so stay true to your dreams never give up on them stay true to who you are and mm -hmm. most importantly be bold be fabulous have a fabulous weekend Join me Tuesday for an all-new episode of Ted a Ted and my birthday spectacular with a very special guest. I'm, I can't say who it is, but make sure you guys tune in 4 p.m. to find out who that special guest is. And I will see you then. You'll see the costume and everything. So take care, everybody. Y'all be safe out there trick-or-treating and, and steal some of your kids' candy, too, also. They Happy know. early birthday. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Y'all be safe out there. I love y'all. And this will be uploaded to Style by Stevie Daytime. Make sure y'all head on over and subscribe to my girl, Tina Marie. Check out Man Eater and Elm Street out right now. Y'all take care and we will see y'all there. Bye.